I'm all alone. Where's everybody else? Your orange friends are on their way to Cleveland. Oh, I found the octopus. Oh! Where'd he go? Today we're learning English with one of my favorite Pixar movies, Finding Dory. Dory, who is voiced by the very talented Ellen DeGeneres, suffers from memory loss every 10 seconds or so. But the one thing she remembers clearly is that she was separated from her parents as a child and decides to go on an epic adventure to find them. But before we dive into the movie, if this is your first time joining us, welcome. Each week we help millions of learners like you understand fast speaking English without getting lost, without missing the jokes and without needing subtitles. So join our global community now. Simply hit the subscribe button and the bell down below so you never miss out on any of our new lessons. Just like Min, who says their confidence to speak English has improved since watching our lessons. I suffer from short-term memory loss. Yay! That's exactly what you say. <laughs> okay, okay. We'll pretend to be the other kids now. <clears throat> Hi, Dory! Ahoy there! <laughs> Do you want to play hide and seek? Okay. <laughs> we'll hide and you count and come find us. Okay, Daddy. No, no, not Daddy. I'm the nice fish who wants to be your friend. Okay? Okay, Daddy. No. I'm hiding! Now count to ten. One, two, three, um, four, um, I like sand. Sand is squishy. <laughs> Mommy, can I go play with them? In this scene, we'll see baby Dory with her parents before she went missing from them. I suffer from short-term memory loss. Here, when young Dory says, remembery, this is not a real word. As many children do when learning new words, Dory is mistakenly combining the words memory and remember, as they have similar meanings. However, the correct expression we would use is memory loss. We use the words short term to describe something that does not last long. So in this situation, Dory's ability to remember things only lasts a short time. See, I, I suffer from short-term memory loss. Short-term memory loss. I don't believe this. No, it's true. I forget things almost instantly. Okay, okay. We'll pretend to be the other kids now. We use the word pretend when we behave as if something is true when we know that it is not. Here, here. Pretend, pretend that that's a seed. It's a rock. Oh, I know it's a rock, I know, but let's just pretend for a minute that it's a seed, all right? We'll just use our imaginations. Pretend is also used to refer to things that are imaginary or not real, such as fairy tales or cartoons. Hi, Dory! Ahoy there! <laughs> Ahoy there is a nautical term used to attract attention or say hello when someone is on a ship or boat. You may have noticed in films and TV shows that ahoy there is especially common among sailors and pirates. Dory's dad uses this greeting in a playful way to say hello, and it's funny because instead of being on a ship, they're already underwater. You want to play hide and seek? Okay, I love you. When Dory's dad mentions hide and seek, He's referring to a children's game where one person covers their eyes while the other players hide and then tries to find them. <laughs> Come on, let's play hide and seek! Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten! Ready or not, here I come! Okay, Daddy. No, no, not Daddy. I'm the nice fish who wants to be your friend, okay? Why do you think Dory's dad says, no, not Daddy? He's not really her father. He wants her to call him by a different name. He wants to remind her that they're playing pretend.
That's right. The answer is C. He's pretending to be her friend. Do you want to understand native speakers of all ages and in any situation? Well, we'll help you understand and speak English more confidently and naturally with our free three-part masterclass. Simply sign up by clicking up here or down in the description below. I'd like to I'm a squishy. Here we can see just how quickly Dory forgets things, as she's already forgotten that she's playing a game with her parents. You can use the word squishy to describe things that are soft and wet, like the sand in the ocean. It can also be used to describe things that are soft, like certain toys and foods. <laughs> this is so fun! Oh, so squishy, what is this stuff? Okay, we're good. The ocean! Get straight ahead, floor it! Now oh, we're talking. In this scene, Dory and her friend Hank are frantically driving a truck through traffic trying to get to the ocean so that she can continue her search for her parents. Okay, we're good. You can use the expression, we're good, or all good, to mean that everything is fine. It can also be used to tell someone not to worry in a stressful situation. Easy, easy, huh? Hi back! Oh, we're good, we're good. Get straight ahead, floor it! Here, floor it is an informal way of telling someone to drive as fast as possible. Dory wants Hank to get to the ocean as quickly as they can before they get caught by the police. Break, Abby! <laughs> okay! Floor it! <laughs> However, to be floored means to be so surprised or confused that you're unable to think of what to say or do next. For example, when I saw the picture, I was completely floored. Get straight ahead, floor it! Now we're talking. The phrase, now we're talking, means to agree with a suggestion or like someone's offer. Here, Hank means that he likes and agrees with Dory's suggestion to drive as fast as possible. Tiago! Uh, now we're talking! Ready, aim, fire! <laughs> Here are some great examples of connected speech. Did you notice it when Hank says, what do you mean, uh -oh? When said very quickly, the T at the end of what is almost silent and sounds like wa. Also, the O at the end of do becomes a schwa and sounds like a. Uh. And the word you is reduced to ya. Together, this sounds like, what do you mean? Let's listen to that again. What do you mean, uh -oh? Hank, I'm gonna ask you to do something crazy. Dory also uses connected speech when she says, Hank, I'm gonna ask you to do something crazy. First, Dory uses the contracted form of going to, which is gonna. Then, when she says you, it is shortened to ya. Yeah. And the O at the end of to becomes a schwa and sounds like ta. Combined, this becomes, I'm gonna ask you to. Let's listen to that once more. Hank, I'm gonna ask you to do something crazy. Ooh, there's no way out. It's over. They're going to fish jail. When we say that there is no way out, we mean that there is no way for us to escape a situation. No, no way out. Oh no. Ooh, get back. The phrase "get back" has several meanings. In this situation, it is used for telling someone to move away because they are in danger. However, it can also mean to return to a place. For example, it's late, I need to get back home. Or to receive or have something again after it was lost or stolen. For example, I forgot my bag on the train and don't know how to get it back.
suffer from short-term memory loss. Yes! That's exactly what you say. <laughs> okay, okay. We'll pretend to be the other kids now. <clears throat> Hi, Dory! Ahoy there! <laughs> Do you want to play hide-and-seek? Okay. <laughs> we'll hide, and you count and come find us. Okay, Daddy. No, no, not Daddy. I'm the nice fish who wants to be your friend. Okay? Okay, Daddy. No. I'm hiding. Now count to ten. One, two, three, um, four. Um, I like sand. Sand is squishy. What is the opposite of squishy? Spongy, firm, solid. When would you use this phrase? When you like something? When you're afraid? When you accept an offer? These words are similar to no way out. Trapped, free, tired. this lesson I definitely recommend you continue your learning by checking out this lesson next will you take a look at that pretty pathetic huh well you'll never believe this but that llama you're looking at was once a human being and not just any human being like I was an emperor a rich powerful ball of charisma oh yeah this is his story <laughs> well actually my story that's right I'm that llama the name is Cusco, Emperor Cusco. <laughs>